Hello, and welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending April 25th, 2020. We usually start the week's news off with new anime announcements, but tonight's first announcement isn't quite an anime, but I think it merits the opening spot nonetheless. It was reported this week that Sony is developing a live-action Hollywood film adapt, um, adapting the One Punch Man manga, specifically. The script's being written by Scott Rosenberg and Jeff Pinkner, who previously collaborated on the Venom and Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle film scripts. Uh, Arad Productions, Avi and Ari Arad, who worked on the live-action Ghost in the Shell, as well as Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and other Marvel properties, are doing the movie's production. And Avi Arad has been doing uh, adaptations for decades. Uh, Yusuke Murata and One launched the One Punch Man manga on Shueisha's free Tonari no Young Jump website back in 2012 as a remake of One's original One Punch Man web manga. The manga is still ongoing, with the 122nd chapter published just this week. Uh, and I gotta admit, of, you know, of all of the manga to adapt, One Punch Man is one of the more Western ones. Whatever you think of Hollywood adaptations, this one is sure to spark quite the discussion, but, you know, certainly not the weirdest choice. Uh, and now, back to our regularly scheduled new anime announcements. A website opened this week to announce the upcoming uh, Iwakakeru Sport Climbing Girls television anime. The new anime will adapt Ryudai Ishizaka's Iwakakeru Climbing Girls manga and its follow-up Iwakakeru, two exclamation points, Try a New Climbing. The two manga center around girls competing in sport climbing, First-year student and puzzle game genius Konomi Kasahara discovers the sport after stumbling upon the climbing wall at her new school, and comes to excuse me comes to find that the sport makes full use of both one's mind and one's body. And I suspect that bodies are very much an aspect of why this anim this anime is being made. The first manga launched on Sai Game Saikomi website in 2017. And Shogakukan re released the first compiled volume of the second manga in February. So this is a pretty new one. Yeah, I have no idea why folks would think this would be popular. I don't know. Uh, publisher Kodansha announced on Tuesday that Divine Workplace Comedy Manga Heaven's Design Team is inspiring a television anime. Uh, it is basically the story of a group of office workers who are being told by God to design various new animals every day while contending with unreasonable requests um, from their client, namely god it's funny um it's quite interesting and it's got a lot of uh useful information um and answers certain uh, interesting questions around uh like you know why can't unicorns exist why do certain animals taste delicious things like that um the manga also includes related encyclopedia entries and promises to quote make your next trip to the zoo or aquarium a hundred times more fun end quote um created by hebizo tsuto suzuki and tarako the manga launched in Kodansha's Morning, two mag uh, Morning Magazine in 2017 and got its fifth compiled volume just this week. I've actually read this manga and it is a lot of fun and reasonably um, informational. Um, so if you're looking for both fun and learning in your new anime, keep an eye out for this one. Let's see here, moving on. Oh yes, so we finish up our announcements with another educational anime. Uh, this time an anime adaptation, Toy announced on Sunday that it will be producing an anime film uh, based on study manga series Kagaku Manga Survival, or Science Manga Survival. The film, titled Jintai no Survival, a lot of survivals there, is set to screen alongside the previously announced Ganbarewa Robocon film in Japan starting on July 31st, though Toy noted that the opening date may still change for reasons you can probably guess at this point. The all-color manga and study book series originated in South Korea by Gomdoriko and illustrator Hyun Dong Han. It originally launched in 2008, so a while back, and weaves science lessons into various stories about children on adventures. As of February, Asahi Shimbun has published 70 volumes in this series, so the new film should have plenty of material to work with. God. Uh, no Starch Press has also released some of the series in English under the title Survive Inside the Human Body for those of you looking for some light-hearted otaku learning, apparently, inside the human body. Now, if you've been keeping up with the otaku news for a while, you've surely seen the stories about pirated manga, 
popping up over the last several months. One you might remember centered around illegal manga aggregator Manga Rock, who, after being heavily criticized for providing pirated manga, stated last September that they would shut down their site and focus on legal distribution methods. Well, as of this week, the Manga Rock service has officially been shut down, took a little while, and a beta has been launched for a new legitimate distribution app. The new INKR, or Inker platform, has partnered with various publishers, including Tokyo Pop, Fan Fan, Comic Loft, and Tan Comics, or Tan Comics, to publish manga, manhwa, and webtoons. So far, the beta version the beta version includes home and explore tabs, an adaptive viewer, and an account system, and plans to add features like my library and personalized recommendations in the future. Because as we all know, recommendation engines are really easy and, and work really well. Manga Rock was originally created by a group of college students back in 2010, there's a shocker, and focused on gathering scanlations that were already released. Following the criticisms last fall, the creator stated, quote, At that time, we didn't understand the manga industry, and we didn't know the origin of the scanlations, including things without official licenses. As time has passed, we have come to understand the damage being incurred by manga creators and publishers, end quote. They went on to encourage other scanlation websites to shut down as well. In other words, they, like, probably got served. Looking for a way to read manga digitally, but don't want to use your phone or computer? Well, how about your Nintendo console? That's right, Inky Pen, a comic subscription service for the Nintendo Switch, announced yesterday that it is now partnering with Kodansha USA to offer manga. Kodansha USA Publishing handles the Kodansha Comics duh, and Vertical imprints, which include major titles like Attack on Titan, Fairy Tale, and Parasite. The announcement states that hundreds of fan favorite manga are now available on the service, and that is pretty darn cool. Uh, Inky Pen launched in the US, Canada, Europe, Mexico, Russia, Africa, and Australia in December 2018 and features an all you can read subscription for eight bucks per month. Sorry, $7.99 per month. Anyway, let's just be accurate. It's eight bucks. Our next bit of news is a positive one for any mobile game fans out there. Anime studio Pierrot and smartphone game publisher K-Lab have announced a new business alliance. Through the partnership, the companies plan to develop their collaboration with K-Lab adapting more of Pierrot's video content, like anime, into mobile games, merchandise, and events. Piro and K-Lab previously partnered to create the Bleach Brave Souls smartphone game and the Yu Yu Hakusho 100% Maji Battle smartphone game. So I guess you can expect more of those. Now in these tough times, people have been finding new ways to get together with their communities and to host events. And the anime industry is no exception. This weekend brings the quote, Eva Ie no Mi event, which will stream the three new theatrical versions of Evangelion films 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0. The event will also use the new Google Meet service to host guests and lucky fan participants during the streams. The films and commentary will stream on YouTube for free. The 1.0 film already streamed last night, but you can catch, still catch 2.0 and 3.0 tonight at 2 a.m. Eastern Time and 8 a.m. Eastern Time, respectively. Evangelion theme song, theme song singer Yoko Takahashi will appear for all the screenings, and other guests are also planned to attend. Will Anno be there? I have no idea. 80 total people will be chosen to participate in tomorrow's chat groups. 80, 8, 0. Better than nothing, I suppose. Fans can enter to win a spot in the chat by posting on either Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag StayHomeEva. And if that's not enough, Evangelion, the first three Evangelion Rebuild films, are also now streaming for free on YouTube. There aren't any subtitles included with the films, but if you understand Japanese or just enjoy existential mech fights as background noise, those will definitely be available through April 30th. Why not? And good on them for providing those you know, for free for everyone. That, that's cool. Now, the increase in working and study from home has also brought an increase in people participating in video calls, 
and entertainment properties uh, are responding to make these a little more exciting. A number of anime, manga, and video game properties have begun posting uh, background art for folks to use behind them as they video call in Zoom, let's be honest. If you ever wanted, if you ever wanted your coworkers to think you're working from a Ghibli forest, a Shirobako office, or even an Eba hanger, your time has come. Just maybe, I don't know, be careful. Um, Shirobako's official Twitter account posted a set of backgrounds from the show, including a shot of the room the director imprisons himself inside in order to focus on getting his storyboards done. That couldn't be creepy at all. The Evangelion Twitter account also posted a series of wallpapers, including eight visuals from the Rebuild films and eight sound-only images. So, you know, the sound-only stuff in the background. Uh, the account did stress these images are to be for personal use only and are not to be reposted. Sure, that'll work. The Studio Ghibli wallpaper collection is available on their official website and includes settings from Nausicaa, the Valley of Wind, Princess Mononoke, Spirited Away, and Howl's Moving Castle, among others. Again, good on them for doing that. Even Shonen Jump got in on the fun and tweeted scenes of conference meetings taken from the One Piece, Bleach, and Naruto manga series. That's pretty funny. Um, several video game series also contributed, including Street Fighter, Grand Blue Fantasy, and Token Ranbu. So hey, spicing up Zoom a little bit. Speaking of spicing things up, uh, last up this week, a classic virtual pet with a strange anime twist. That's right, those are, uh, uh, those are angels. Evangelion is collaborating with the Tamagotchi toy line, which apparently is still a thing, to produce Ivachi, I'm not kidding, which will allow users to raise their very own angels. The, quote, all-purpose egg-type battle weapons Ivachi, end quote, will come in three types based on the main characters in the series, the EVA 00 prototype, the EVA 01 test type, and the EVA 02 production model. Just like classic Tamagotchis, uh, the type of angel obtained will depend on the methods used for raising them. Along with more than 20 types of angels, the official website even teases the possibility of raising a Ray and Kaoru as well. Boy. According to the lore of the Ivachis, the devices are filled with LCL, the fictional liquid depicted in the series, which allows an EVA pilot to mentally link with their unit. Uh, owners will also need to feed their angels by giving them S2 engines, the source of their power. Thankfully, it's not, you know, the souls of teenagers. Uh, once the angels have been fully raised, they will, of course, produce an AT field. Along with the care and feeding of angels, the device will include mini-games like battle training. From time to time, users will even be able to see famous EVA scenes and characters on those screens. The Ivachis will go on sale in June for 2,530 yen, or about $23. That's all the news for this week. Thanks for watching. See you next week.